Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Workflowy. So what I'm going to do today is focus on how I create my weekly tasks using tags and mirrors in Workflowy. I'm going to try and do it in under one minute, so let's go. So again, I'll highlight my board view so you can orient yourself to what you're looking at. This is my will do. This is the destination for my project tasks uh, that I do on Saturday and then my project list. That's where I get my tasks from. I'm going to jump into the project list. So this is my set of projects. I go through the set of tasks that I have for each project and I decide what I'm going to focus on this week and I add a tag. Pick whatever tag you want. For me, it's hashtag SPR for sprint because I use scrum tracking. I've already done that, so I'm going to click on sprint so you can see what it looks like. This is the set of tasks. Uh, so what I do, there's weekly tasks that I do every week and I have pre-assigned a hashtag next sprint. So I click on that and then use WFX to select those. And then I assign sprint to all of those. So you can see highlighted here is hashtag SPI. I've already assigned all those. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, use WFX to multi-select. You're gonna remove that top header. And then I'm going to Alt Shift M to mirror it. I'm gonna jump over to my will do. I'm gonna put these all in not today. There we go. Now I have all of my tasks for the week. And then each evening I go through, make sure I've crossed off anything that's been done that day. I select the tasks I want to do today and I move them up to today. And then I organize them however I want to. Because they're mirrors, uh, I could shift and move and, and put them in any kind of order I want to. Uh, and they stay in their project like I want to, mirrored from their project. And I can complete them, which completes them in the project. And then I can delete them at the end of the week, leaving those tasks in the project. Then I go through and I do my, my Scrum information tracking that I move over to Excel. At the end of the week, I select any task that has Sprint in it just by doing a hashtag SPR search. Uh, and then I, I use WFX to remove the sprint tag and I'm ready for the next week to get started and, and again going through deciding what I want to do the next week. So that's how I do it. I've, I've done it this way probably for about a year, year and a half and it works great for me. Hope that helps.